The National Cancer Centre is the largest cancer centre in Singapore. Currently, we, we look after about 65 to 70 percent of all public cancer patients, about 8,500 new cases a year. More and more of patients and relatives come to us to say that beyond the diagnosis that you've made of my cancer, is it an inheritable condition? We, we needed a division who has great expertise in explaining the genetic basis of cancers. The aim of uh, the Cancer Genetic Service really is to uh, be the expert base for the principles and practice of genomic medicine uh, in Singapore and in the region. We hope to foster a culture where our physicians and our researchers are all comfortable with genomics and integrate genomics into clinical care. We want to also uh, innovate on how we deliver such care, uh, how we provide uh, genomics-driven, uh, personalised-based cancer care for our patients uh, in the coming few years. We do uh, genetic counselling in clinic, so in including both pre-test counselling, like we take family history or we do risk assessment and also help them understand what genetic testing involves, the risk, benefit and limitation and also the implication of genetic testing. We are able to interact with their referring doctors and their treatment care doctors, as well as their primary health care physicians. We're able to help educate um, those doctors in terms of uh, what having a gene mutation really means, as well as the appropriate risk management recommendations that we've made. In many ways, Singapore has a population mix that reflects maybe a third to half of the population of the world. We see a very significant role for ourselves in educating the future oncologists for the region. We're doing much more research in the lab to try and understand whether there can be other novel genes unique to Chinese, unique to Malays, unique to Indians, uh, to understand whether these are the changes that might account for their risk in cancer. If you look at breast cancer, the percentage of women diagnosed below 40, in the West it's about less than 10%, maybe 6 or 7%, but in Asia it's up to 20% of women are diagnosed below the age of 40. So that means we have to offer special services, special programs, and especially genetic services. So we're very fortunate to have a broad program here, many genetic counselors that can offer this to women. At the Cancer Genetic Service at the National Cancer Center, the research that we do spans across different modalities. From the clinical research perspective, we've done studies looking at how patients receive uh, geno genomic testing in Singapore um, and what improvements in outcomes they perceive. For translational research, we do a lot of work trying to understand whether the genetic mutation spectrum that we see in the West, in Caucasians, uh, apply to, to patients in Asia and in Singapore. We also do health services research and the, the whole idea is to help guide policy makers uh, in terms of how we should best implement genomics in the clinic. NCCS will do more to support cancer prevention and it has set up a new division of cancer prevention and population health centre for this purpose. The division will research into ways to reduce cancer morbidity and mortality by investigating cancer causes and risk factors, including the identification of genetic risk factors, biological environmental and behavioural modifiers. We've recently completed a study where we looked at the impact of subsidies on the, at the health system level. Because genomics allows us to detect patients um, earlier for intervention, we end up saving the health system money by treating patients a lot earlier. We've had many, many interesting patients and families and it's been a real pleasure looking after them. Um, one particular patient stood out. Um, she was a young lady uh, who developed uterine cancer um, in, the, in her 30s uh, and she suffered uh, very severe myelosuppression following chemotherapy. When she and her family came to us, it was very obvious to us uh, from first glance actually that she, she was suspected as having Fanconi's anemia. Um, a couple of things was interesting about this case. One, Fanconi anemia in the West is usually due to uh, a certain set of genes. We are finding that in Singapore, a different set of genes might be accounting for the Fanconi anemias that we see here. Although uh, the patient herself has passed on because of advanced cancer, by knowing her genetics, we were able to then uh, test her brother. He too shares the same genetic condition. 
is seeing a whole host of uh, doctors uh, for regular screening with the hope that if any cancer is to develop, we could detect it early, he should do far better than his sister did. We are moving beyond the genomic era to the post-genomic area where it's assumed by a lot of the patients, if not most of the patients, that molecular pathology will play a big part in the analysis of the problems that they have. Over the last three years, we've built a very healthy and growing database and biobank of patients who've come in to see us to understand whether they are at genomic risk uh, for, for cancer. We see about 120 patients a week uh, at the Cancer Genetic Service. Even though this information may not result in a direct treatment or a cure, patients uh, understand that with uh, this incremental knowledge as to why things happen, we are very much closer, therefore, to trying to find uh, new drugs, new therapy and new solutions for them.